All right. There is everything that will be going in to the Instant Pot Pot Roast. And I've already done one of these. They are absolutely fantastic. It's quick and easy. It's simple. And I'm going to try and show you as quick as I can. So I'm going to shut up. Okay, what I did, I've added, I don't know, a quarter inch. quarter inch of canola oil blend or whatever. Now I'm going to go to the saute button. And I am going to let that get hot. And then we're going to drop the meat in it. So, anyhow, like I said, I'm trying to keep it short. Okay, what I've done is I sliced up, I don't know if you saw it long ago, but there was five pieces of garlic laying there. I sliced up two of those, and I put them in my oil. And the oil is hot. I put salt and pepper on the roast, and I'm going to move that out from under there if I can get it to stay where I want it to, just because I don't want it trapped under there. I don't know why. Don't. And here we go for sear. And I like to spin it and lift it and let oil get on it. And that keeps it from sticking. But if it does stick, I've got this. I'm going to keep it moving a little bit for a second. And this is going to go for about four, maybe five minutes. So that's what's happening. Now you get the idea. All we're doing is, is browning the meat. We call it searing, but really just browning it. And this kind of just for looks to me, maybe it does do some searing, but it makes it look a lot better <clears throat> when you serve it anyway. Okay, that's probably been maybe more like five minutes. We're going to see what it looks like. And it looks absolutely perfect. That is exactly what I want. I don't want any more than that. That's radical, radical, uh, uh, happy point. Again, and we'll go again in just a second. We're still on saute, and we're all we're doing is food. All right, about another four minutes, and I'm going to pick it up. It may be hard to do with this camera though in my hand. And I'm going gonna, gonna to try and get the sides a little bit, but that's, I don't think that's that important. But, you know, probably not even going to stick with it long. But you get the gist. If you want to do the side, you hold it there for a couple of minutes. I mean, but long story short, the majority of it is done. So, now I'm going to do nothing but bring it out of here. I'm going to lay it over here. Right there. I'm going to turn the instant pot off and let that sit for just a second before I pour this broth which is about a half it's about I already did one of these the other day and I had about a half of, of this left this size broth and uh, we're going to scrape all that stuff off the bottom and get it into the broth and then what we're going to do you'll see though in a minute but I'm going to dump all, most the majority of that in there all those vegetables and then I'm going to set the roast on top of it. And uh, we're going to press one more button and put the lid on. It's really that simple. In fact, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Let's see what we get. I'm pouring the liquid in there just to get those bits and pieces or whatever you want to say off the bottom. So, that's what we're doing. Get this. Now we're just going to do this. Until it's all slick on the bottom. And I may or may not video it all. It won't take long though. I've done a roast, a lot of them, in a cast iron, enamel coated cast iron pot, which is a great way of doing it in the oven. But I'm not going to lie. This Instant Pot changed the way I cook chuck roast or pot roast, but I usually use a chuck, and uh, it really opened my eyes to, uh, 
I don't know. I guess it's all the same. It's just a little faster with this and you're pressing buttons instead of doing other things. You're putting stuff in ovens and blah, blah, blah. But I'm pretty close to having that where I want it. I don't know if you can tell. I can't hardly tell. I can tell by feeling, though. You can, when, you, when you're when you scraping across the bottom, you can tell. Anyhow, we're about to do it. I may have to set the camera down to do what I got to do next. So I'll turn it back on in just a second and show you what I got. But that's that's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, here we go. There is, uh, I don't know, that many of those vegetables. I like to keep some to put on top. I don't, you know, I don't know. In fact, I'm going to put one more mushroom right there. And then I'm going to set this roast right on top, just like that. And then I'm going to put everything this thing will hold around it. Really want to get all those mushrooms in there, so the mushrooms kind of going next. Just in there, around with the potatoes and the everything I can get. In fact, it's all going. I'm gonna make that lid fit. That's probably not the way you're supposed to do it, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue if it were. You know, you don't want to obstruct that lid from going on, so don't do that. And then I'm going to put the garlic in whole. I mean, I sliced it last time I did it. Or I did I did slice it when I fry it. Or when I'm putting it in that in that hot oil. And last time I did this, I sliced it up. But this time, I'm just going to put three whole cloves. You know, I mean, some people do or don't like garlic. But anyhow, that's everything for the platter. All the potatoes are in. And all the uh, rest of my uh, uh, broth is in so now i'm going to set that on lock it i'm going to set this to the unvented position and then i'm going to select meat and stew and now it'll take it usually about 20 minutes i'm going to say at least 20 minutes to come up to uh pressure and when it does the timer will start at 35 minutes will start counting down so in about an hour i tell you you better count on an hour from the time from this point right here an hour so again trying to keep it short but you get the idea and if you don't you know uh hit me with a question but this instant pot is a great device i'm going to say that a bunch of times probably before this is over but it is okay almost exactly or, well, one hour and five minutes from the time I put the lid on and we started it, it's done. Or it likes one minute, but we're going to open it up because it takes a while to dump that steam out. It's it's more, there's a good bit of steam in here, so it takes it about, I don't know, uh, three or four minutes. So I'm going to start the steam release right now. And when I raise the lid, we'll go back to video. Okay, I was off a little bit on the three or four minutes to bleed down that pressure. It took a full seven minutes. It, there's a lot of steam in it. So, And one other, th one other thing I might say is, when you open it, make sure your hand is here. Not here. Because if it is, you're going to get a steam bath that you're not going to like. But anyhow, here we go. Mm, my goodness, there comes some more steam. But it looks just like I expected, which is absolutely fantastic. And I guarantee you it is. This is a badass device. It really is. The Instant Pot is now in my cooking arsenal <laughs> for sure. And uh, this is not the only thing I've cooked. I've done beef ribs. I've done boiled peanuts, stuff like that. It's a great device. But anyhow, there you go. I may put one more video when I put it on the plate, but I don't have to. You can see. It, it, I mean, everything looks good. The colors are good on it. It's not cooked away. Uh, the mushrooms even retain. It's, it's good. I got a feeling it's going to be just as good as the last one. But anyhow, there you go. Uh... <clears throat> Instant Pot with John. 
Okay, I thought I would add to my Instant Pot recipe from yesterday. I, I cooked that roast yesterday and it was uh, as good as I expected. Here's what I did with it afterwards. I simply put down a couple of pieces of wood to, to protect that glass because I'm a little concerned with that. And uh, I'm using a lid from uh, the wrong lid. They sell a lid that will go on there, but I don't own it. I have a, that lid right there is doing what I need it to do right now. Although I'm probably going to buy the lid. Long story, no need in going into. But anyhow, I'm fixing to take that out. I'm going to set it back in the, in the pot, the chamber, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to press warm. And we're going to eat it again today. And as all, with all pot roast, they get better with time. So we'll see. And it is as simple as that. You just set it in there, obviously, and press the warm button. Make sure it comes up and comes on to keep warm. I mean, if you're in a hurry, you could probably do a, a different setting. You, you could even probably put it under a slight bit of pressure for a little bit, and that would really heat it up in a hurry. But I'm not. It's Sunday. People will probably be eating on this all day. I think this setting will stay on for 10 hours. I'm not positive. I think that's what it'll do before it'll automatically shut off. So... <clears throat> In a few hours, it'll be warm, and then the rest of the day, it'll be good. Maybe a couple of hours. I don't really know how long it'll take, but we'll see. And uh, like I said, it's a great device. Can't hardly find anything to complain. Well, I haven't found anything to complain about it. It's, uh, it's a really good device. It, it does everything it says it does, and does it in a hurry, and very convenient and safe. I mean, there's no way that that lid could blow off of there. I mean, I, I'm telling you, it is locked down. It's a, it would be, I think, impossible, not to mention it's got several safety features that would lift and go, you know, lift pressure off if it needed to. A lot different than the old days when uh, uh, the pressure cooker was uh, sitting on a stove top, you know, whatever. But anyhow, that's my review of the Instapot, and uh, it's a good one. But y'all have a good day. Come back to see me. Jelly 007, John Sanders.